Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about date picker. Uh, to be honest, there's really not much to talk about since we have already seen the calendar because a lot of same properties applies to the date picker too. Regardless, let's go ahead and add a stack panel and then add a date picker. Okay. And let's close this out. So we got date picker right here. Let's increase the font size to 24. And let's get a color, foreground color of red. All right, this red will only apply to the text um, to the text box. Doesn't apply to the font of the calendar. I mean the date picker. Okay, let's run this and see what we have. Okay, now if I drop open my date picker, select a date, date will show up here. Okay, again we can bind to that selected date, just like we did the calendar. So that same thing applies. Again, a lot of in a lot of ways it's similar. Uh, the beauty of this guy, you can actually the binding is um, both ways. So I can type a date in here, say seven one twenty twenty, and that will affect the calendar as well. So if I open this, my 7 1 2020 is selected. See so if we want to go to 1999, likewise, we got the year 1999, and uh, July 1st is selected. Okay, so that's the beauty of um, date picker. There are a couple of um, Properties I'd like to touch on. One of those is um, display date format. I think uh, let me type in format. Okay, selected date format. So default is short. Let's go ahead and change it to long and see what we get. And now if I select a date from here, it gives us a long date format with the name of the day, month, and year. Okay. The other one, other property is, uh, is drop down open. What this does is by default, this is false. If you set this to true, when you run the cal when you run the application, the uh, drop down calendar will be open on startup. I guess we made an error. Unexpected character. Okay, let's run this again. And as soon as your application starts up, we got a uh, calendar open. Kind of don't like that because it shows up here where the actually design surfaces. It kind of shows up there. So as you, so I'm not a big fan of that property, but you never know. There may be times you may need it. So it's there. Okay. Um, we can do the binding like same way we did with the calendar as well. Let's give this date picker a name. Let's call this DP1. And let's add the text block and bind the text to element name DP1. And uh, 
our path will be selected date. Uh, close that. So if I set the selected date here to a date inside the XAML code, such as one one. 2020 uh, binding will show right away um, that's pretty much it really I mean if you have any questions please feel free to drop a comment um, lastly I can show you I guess how to add from code behind so for that I'm gonna give the stack panel a name Let's call this my stack panel. Without C, it's fine. My stack panel. And let's go to code behind. And actually, we need a loaded event. Let's add a loaded event here. And let's go to definition. Inside here, we can say date picker. Created instance of date picker. DP new date picker. Okay, and then we can just say, um, now let's get a font size too. Just DP that font size. Let's give it 22. And let's call my stack panel and add children. My stack panel children dot add dp. So if you if you want to add a stack, I mean date picker from the code behind, you can do so. That's not a problem. And if we run this, and we should have a stack and date picker right here. Okay, with default values such as short date. And um, so on and so forth. So basically, that's date picker. Okay. Until next one, have a good day.